and child friendly environment and where children are protected from all forms of abuse, exploitation, and discrimination. The pandemic has also greatly affected our children and it is vital that we all understand the situation of our children in these trying times. Now, we shall come to the highlight of today's program, the State of the Children's Report, which is one of the four gifts of the Quezon City government for our children. In adherence to the community guidelines and for the appreciation of children and the, our stakeholders in their homes and communities, we would like to present the video, but I understand that um, we're still preparing to upload this presentation. Um, let me just uh, uh, request for a small favor from our viewers via Zoom. Pakimute lang po yung ating uh, speaker kasi parang narinig tayo. So when we're not talking any longer, the background noise from our respective places could be heard um, dito sa ating Zoom uh, online, no? So, kung pwede lang pong i-mute natin yan. Okay, I guess you're already ready. We would now like to present to you the audio-video presentation of our local chief executive's report on the status of Quezon City children. Isang maganda at pinagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Tuwing buwan ng Nobyembre, ating iginugunita ang National Children's Month. Isang natatangi pagkakataon upang suriin at bigyan diin ang mga isyong nakakaapekto sa ating mga kabataan at sa kanilang mga karapatan, lalo na sa gitna itong pandemya. By the end of this report, I hope that you too will feel the urgency to do your part for them so that every child in Quezon City is genuinely happy and truly a child. Sa Pilipinas at sa buong mundo, mas kaunti ang naiulat ng mga kaso ng COVID-19 sa mga bata. Bagamat pinagpapasalamat natin ito, nagdulot ng malaking hamon ang krisis na ating patuloy na hinaharap sa pagtataguyod ng mga karapatan ng bawat batang Pilipino, lalo na sa aspeto ng edukasyon, kalusugan, kaligtasan, at sa kanilang mga pangunahing pangangailangan. Quezon City is home to more than 990,000 children aged 18 and below. They comprise about a third of our city's population. Of this figure, 51% are male, while 49% are female. Our local government has successfully put in place a healthcare system that has considerably reduced the maternal mortality rate o ang bilang ng mga ina na namamatay sa pagdadalang tao at panganganak. In 2019, our maternal mortality rate was at its lowest at 31 per 100,000 live births. We have likewise recorded a decline in the number of infant deaths during delivery and before they reach their first birthday. Naglalaan tayo ng pondo taon-taon para sa mga programa tulad ng early prenatal care and checkup, essential newborn care, micronutrient supplements, at immunization. Because every life matters. Every child saved counts. Binibigyan natin ng karagdagang atensyon ang ating pregnant adolescents o mga batang ina. Edad 10 hanggang 11 na taon. Simula nung nakaraang taon, nakapagtala tayo ng 6,741 pregnant adolescents at masaya natin ibinabalita na lahat sila ay nakakumpleto ng hanggang apat na prenatal checkup sa ating mga health centers. Sa kabilang banda ay nakalulungkot na tatlo kada sangko o 33% ng adolescent mothers ay hindi na muling sumangguni sa loob ng isang linggo matapos manganak, lalo na ng magkaroon ng pandemya at ipatupad ang community quarantine. Kaya ating ginatasan ang ating City Health Department na palakasin pa ang ating educational campaign para bigyan din din ang kahalagahan ng postpartum care at check -out. Adolescent Reproductive Health Education is now included in the curriculum of our school.